So as we head into the summer, we come up with school holidays and so on and so forth. And it's amazing how much has changed over the years and uh, how it's much easier to trade from different locations now. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. Please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So there is more to my life than trading. I've taken the opportunity this week to shift locations, brought the family with me. We're having a great time here, enjoying uh, the good weather, uh, the water sports and so on and so forth. And I'm taking the opportunity to trade. I love trading, I love traveling, and combining the two was my dream and it always has been my dream for ages. So I constantly reach for both. You know how busy I am at certain times of the year, how I focus on key events, but the whole idea of that is to give myself space, time, and the money to do things like this. And I'm conscious that I don't want to push trading as a lifestyle choice as something that you could achieve as well. It requires a lot of hard work. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I thought it was important to show you that there are two sides to everything I do. I actually travel a lot more than I let on, but I just don't want to fall into that trap of trying to make it part of what Bait Angel is. That's entirely your choice. So yeah, there are loads of um, opportunities to do this now. Technology has come on enough to allow you to confidently trade from other locations. And it's something I've been keen to explore and I keep pushing because I love traveling and I love trading. And in fact, the trading for me funds a lot of the traveling as well. Uh, so why not take advantage of both of them? So yeah, really looking forward to uh, enjoying this holiday, stroke trading holiday, I should say. And I will be trading, but I'll be skipping Mondays and Tuesdays. I'll probably do a little bit on Wednesdays, but my main focus will be Thursday, Friday and Saturday, where all of the key events are where I'm likely to earn the money to be able to fund a trip like this. So yeah, looking forward to it. Um, I'm sure I'll enjoy myself and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to do all right on the trading. So here's the setup that I'm using at the moment. You can see it's really simple. I've got a MacBook and I've got an iPad and the iPad I can use as a second monitor. At the moment I'm streaming live video from Betfair on it. Um, but yeah, I can use it to look at charts, I can stream video on it, or sometimes what I'll do is I'll remote back to my PC in the office to look at the pictures of there. I know that sounds daft, but sometimes it's helpful to be able to do that. And, um, but at the moment you can see I've got the iPad set up as having live video on it and I'm trading off of the MacBook. Now you may question why I've got a MacBook, but this gives me the best of both worlds because I can dual boot it, I can use it as a Windows machine or a Mac. So I can use BetAngel natively, or if I've got it um, set up as a Mac, I can use the VPS to trade from. And that's helpful because sometimes you're not sure of the connection that you're going to get at the location that you're choosing to trade from. So you want the l lowest bandwidth, the lightest connection that you could possibly have. So sometimes using a VPS works pretty well. But here um, I can use it as either, either a VPS as a, a, on the Mac or I can boot it into Windows and use it as a native Windows machine. But I, I've got both choices. That's what I'm trying to do here is give myself options. But yeah, that's all I need. When you compare what I used to have to cart around with me to trade, this is amazing. All it takes is uh, just this amount of equipment I can set up in minutes and start trading and pack it away in minutes and move off to my next location. So yeah, it's an absolute uh, boon to be able to do this. And this is sort of what I hoped for when I first started trading with that I'd be able to pack my trading kit up in a bag, go to somewhere, actively trade, pack it up again, and not have to uh, worry about things. Um, very lightweight, don't require much equipment, a few headphones and stuff, but that's about all that I require. Now, um, the only downside I'd say is the chair I've got here is quite uncomfortable. So I'm used to a really nice, comfortable chair in the office, and I don't have that here. So that's a bit of a pain. But other than that, um, that's my trading setup. When I'm traveling, I can um, work quite comfortably and trade perfectly adequately uh, with the setup that you see here. So if you go back to my early days of trading and uh, trying to get some time off during the summer, um, I used to do some crazy things. So I used to lug around a satellite dish, uh, which was just mental, really. <laughs> uh, but it had to be done because I needed pictures. I needed, uh, you know, pictures are an important part of trading racing. I uh, need to understand what's going on at the course and so on. But I used to cart around a lot of equipment. I used to carry big boxes full of it. And that sort of restricted what I could do abroad. Um, but even when I was abroad, I would uh, have pictures by proxy because I would basically phone somebody up or Skype them or whatever and um, they could talk me through the pictures. So yeah, you know, I used to do that. But it was, it's remarkable when you look back at what I used to do. I used to carry um, huge amounts of equipment around and then I'd get to a location 
who's uh, I'd get I'd get them to test the internet access, make sure the internet access was fine, and I'd bring all my equipment in and hook it up to a desk, and away you go from there. Now compare that to what you can do nowadays, and in another video I've described what I've done this year, but basically you can do all of that uh, with just a laptop and an iPad. You don't need really anything else now. You don't even need a mouse because the touchpads and the gesture based controls are really uh, great for uh, zipping in and out and doing stuff. But uh, yeah, all I need now really is uh, a laptop and an iPad that can fit in a case about this thin and I can cart that around the world with me and trade from pretty much any location. And if you remember a video that I did, I even managed to trade on a plane using the same uh, setup that uh, that I've got here. So yeah, I think one of the things that you may want to consider if, you, if you're not going to get lynched doing it is um, it is possible to actually trade uh, when you're abroad. And the way that I use this is it gives me the opportunity to continue working but also give everybody a nice big break and we can do that fairly frequently um, throughout the summer. And I enjoy traveling, I enjoy trading, so I try and combine the two whenever I can. And in fact the trading helps fund um, whatever location that we're currently at. So yeah, you know, I'm keen not to sell that as a lifestyle proposition to you, but um, that's what I tend to do. And the point of this video really is that it's much easier to do now than it ever has been. I struggled for years to get all the equipment and all of the stuff that I needed to be able to trade effectively. Um, yet the fact is I did it then and it's just so much easier now. It gives me a lot more freedom than I ever have had before. So yeah, maybe if you want to get away maybe if you want to trade from a different location or something. Um, I feel a lot more confident now doing that than I ever have done. Um, the 3G connectivity and 4G connectivity um, and the internet in general is very very good now compared to what it used to be and it was always a dream of mine to be able to just up sticks and move to another location and trade from there and that's fully what I intend to do this summer.